you have had a few disappointments with love. Either you thought that your budding friendship with Charlie would result in a marriage partner, but it never matured into anything, or you've had a few failed relationships that left you with a broken heart. You're pretty close to giving up the idea of marriage altogether and becoming a nun. You're fed up with feeling hurt and rejected. Then Philip arrives on the scene. He's just the kind of man that you've been praying for, but you're afraid. What if it doesn't work out this time? Should you end it before it even begins to save yourself from getting hurt again? Is love even worth the pain? Most of us have experienced some level of rejection in our interactions with men at some point in time. According to John Eckhart, hope I'm pronouncing it properly, in his book Destroying the Spirit of Rejection, Receive Love and Acceptance and Find Healing, the two main symptoms of rejection are fear and pride. In his book he writes, fear says I can no longer trust anyone. I have been hurt too badly so I am afraid of commitment and close relationships. Pride says, I can do better by myself. Everyone has hurt me and because of that, I don't need anyone in my life. I don't need help. I can make it on my own. That's according to him in his book, which I find makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the fear of rejection can destroy your love life before a relationship even begins or even has had a chance to blossom into a marriage. Here's my own story. After waiting for about 13 years for a wonderful man, one would think that I wouldn't reject him. <laughs> my behavior was quite the opposite. My fear of rejection, which I never knew I had, began to surface. It nearly destroyed our future together as husband and wife. It's a good thing that I came to my senses before it was too late and thank the good Lord that my husband is a patient and a gracious man. I'm Kimberly Garth and I provide practical relationship advice for single Christian women. Today's topic is 5 signs your fear of rejection is destroying your love life. 1. You keep him at arm's length. Just like the other men in your life, you're not sure that he can be trusted with your heart. Suppose he's like your father or like a former boyfriend who broke your heart. Since you cannot trust him, you cannot be completely yourself around him. You cannot risk being vulnerable and allowing him into your heart. As a consequence, you keep him at a distance and you also keep true love away. Two, you cannot commit. Not only men have commitment issues. <laughs> He's a dream come true. Undoubtedly, he has his faults, but his reputation and character sets him apart. He's a treasure among men. You don't want to lose him. But at the same time, you're afraid of either committing to an official relationship, courtship, engagement, or even marriage. For you, another level of commitment might spell disaster and ruin a good thing. So you remain in a safe comfort zone. The level of comfort differs with each person. A woman with a fear of commitment might even make it to the altar, but she usually has divorce as a readily available option. 3. You threaten to end the relationship frequently. At the first sign of a conflict, you are ready to end the relationship. You want to protect your heart at all costs. Before your heart gets broken by him, you plan to break his heart first. Intellectually, you know that all healthy couples have disagreements, but at this point, you're thinking only with your heart and not with your head. And as a result, you're unable to handle conflicts maturely. Your only means of resolution is ending it or threatening to end it. To get an idea of suggested areas of development for you, as a single Christian woman, you can get my free resource, The Irresistible Godly Woman Checklist. To give you some guidance get it by clicking on the link in the description box four you make it clear that you don't really need him he feels like he's walking on eggshells around you whenever there's a serious disagreement not only do you threaten to end the relationship but you also inform him that he's not necessary you let him know that you were happy being single before him <laughs> and you'll be just as happy without him 
Christ is more than enough for you. Now my sister, it's good for a man to know that Christ is your number one priority. However, if your motive is one of pride, which is a symptom of rejection, it will only make the relationship unstable. If God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble in 1 Peter 5.5, 5, you'll also find yourself solo if you continue in that vein. If you are benefiting from this video, I invite you to like, subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you will know when I publish more videos. 5. You unfairly compare him with your former boyfriend. He is beginning to feel that he is walking in the shadow of every man who has ever broken your heart. He's not being given a fair chance. Therefore, he feels that he cannot make a mistake because you will think that he's just like your former boyfriend. In a moment of conflict, he somehow morphs into the likeness of your former boyfriend. Your heartache and disappointment are compounded. My sister, misery will be your own doing until you learn to separate these two men in your heart and in your mind. The fear of rejection can protect your heart from further rejection. That is true. Unfortunately, it can also keep love out where true healing and deliverance can come. A good relationship, brotherly or romantic, can restore your faith in men if you were to embrace it. Unconditional love is foundational for our survival and rejection is its enemy. We all wish that relationships would be easier, but in a fallen world like ours, all of us hurt people that we love. Your past disappointments in relationships can ruin your love life if you're not aware of your rejection issues and if you do not actively deal with your baggage. Sometimes you're not even aware of the depth of your baggage like I was. But ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what is happening in your heart. He might use a guide to show you just that, like how God used my husband. If you would choose to go through the process, the benefits would far outweigh the stresses. What other signs of rejection might destroy a person's love life? I invite you to share from your own experiences or the experiences of those around you. So please comment below and let us all know. Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and have benefited, you might want to check out some of my other videos on relationships with men. Take care. Bye.